Hello guys, Fensbank here, and welcome to part four, I think, of Face Me. Uh, what am I banning? Uh, I'm banning Kali. I was challenged by Will Marx. He wanted me to pay, play Amase Gab. And I am banning Chuck here. I told him to ban. What did I tell him to ban? Arachne and Freya. Uh, basically, because with the Masenka, there is. He is. I don't necessarily think he's that weak 1v1. But he is definitely weak compared to other hunters. The lack of escape is pretty bad, and his his ult doesn't really do much. Song Kui. Hmm. That's interesting. That's a magic user though. Which means I'm gonna have a hard time building defenses against him. So what do we do here? I think... Hmm. I think Chins will be good depending on what he's building. I might skip the Devoured Gauntlet and go straight for... Uh, take Soul Eater instead. Leaves me a little bit more defensive and stuff. I think I'll just just start out standard boots, maybe. I don't know. This gives me a lot of power. If I'm going chins, I don't need it that much. Let's just go boots. We can always see what he's buying. Oh, I need a pot. We can always see what he's buying then. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I'm already behind. Took the wrong skills. Oh god. Oh, he's already here. That sucks. That sucks. I got him. Okay, <laughs> loop one. That sucks. He hit my thing. Hmm. This is crap. Oh, I'm in blade. So this is this is going poorly from the beginning. This is going poorly. What's he building though? He's building into Warlock Sash. So he's gonna stack a lot. Your middle tower is under attack. This is bad. I'm gonna give him a free wave here. I will consume its power. Come on, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Mana, 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 mana. Go, go, go. This is bad. I started this very bad by sitting there wondering so long what to build. I'm not losing Your middle any tower experience though. Attack. Which is important. I mean, the gold, is, it is what it is. It's just gold. Now he is very... He is clearing my... He's clearing my eyes at any chance he gets. Come on, please, yeah. See, this is the power of a Masenka, though. I can just... I can lay my honey down and let my passive do the rest. And still get full experience. And maybe I even last it some more. I need this though. But he's probably going to wrap it too. Boom. Got it. That's nice. We like that. So, I want to place this here so I get the bonus for it far away. Boom. Now I need to figure out what I'm building here. Oh, stupid. But I'm I need to figure out what I'm building. He's going to go... Probably a standard Sungui build, which means he's gonna be pretty tanky, probably. I think a normal hunter should go straight through. Him. That's your ult. Free ult. I'm just gonna heal back up here. My god, now you don't have enough mana to fight me. 
Oh, I can't hit shit. Enjoy this. Boom. Now, gives me a bit of breathing room here. I'm still considering whether to just go standard hunter build. I think the standard hunter build might be. It might be good here. I mean, we can always change it if he doesn't build protections. I can probably, I can just change out the Deathbringer though. I mean, Devil Gloves reign supreme for a reason. The Devil Gloves definitely reign supreme for a reason. They are very good when stacked, and he is going to stack. I'm not gonna wait, uh, save mana here because I want to push the tower. This way, tech harder, it'll hop faster. Probably doing some sort of coming up behind me or something. Oh, he's right there. Oh, I, have HP I got it active though. Come on, mate, you're gonna have to on this. Yeah, that's it. You're all fucked. Force the ult. Which means I can freely fight him from now on. You wanna do this? Oh, and he, he infected them. Oh, I'm out of mana. Now, what will I build here? should really have an idea of this before I go back. I think you never go wrong with rage though. I mean it I have the the steroid from my from my hives and at the moment I don't really need to attack that much faster because I'm hitting him hard. Yeah he's going into Iron Mail here so he's going protective already which means he's not gonna have that much damage. This is pretty much it. I don't need the honey anymore. Just for me. That's your player, buddy. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if I crit here? Tower. Attack up the tower. The thing is, I don't think he's that bad 1v1. He has a heal. And he has a steroid. It's just the same, so it can be destroyed. But... he And he's always going to do damage. And you're picking some queen who is... Oh, oh, oh. Go left. Go left. And him picking some queen... Who does a little, a little less burst, a little more sustained damage with his ultimate, and he has basic, basically his one-two combo. So if he doesn't kind of one-shot me off that, I'm just gonna heal from my hives and from my tech speed. I'm gonna lose nothing from this. Not even a single last hit. One more and he's dead. Boom. Do you not hear the chanting? Do you not hear the chanting? Don't think it's a wise choice to give me a hunter. If you are not comfortable with if you, I mean you should definitely pick something that that counters 
hunter. Come on. He's going into hide of the demon. So he damages me every time I hit him. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna get the... I'm just gonna go standard here, except for the fact that I got rage quicker. Maybe. Maybe I'm actually... I think... I think I want to switch out the death... Uh, wow. The Deathbringer for the... I think I want to switch out Deathbringer for for Jins, just because he's gonna be having a lot of HP here. I don't want it. Just because he's gonna have so much HP. Oh, well. oh I missed that. That's a misplay. go chins here actually instead of the penetration. Hmm. I have I can't afford the chin size. And it is definitely going to hurt him. Yeah I think I'll get chins because I'm I'm gonna buy Titan's Bane here anyway. So chin size might I think chin size is better than executioner. And I had the money for it. Because chin size counters this Meaning that he can build as much HP as he wants. I'm gonna kill him in at least 20 shots. No matter what. At least 20 shots. And if he survives that long, I'm gonna be surprised. Well, 20 shots I hit. Let's just be clear about that. I need to hit the 20 shots. I missed it. I missed. I'm not gonna miss that one. This should be somewhat poke of a phoenix. No, it shouldn't. I can just. Yeah, he's alive, so I'm backing. I'm gonna get Titan's Bane now. So next kill. His phoenix is going to be sad. I'm going full offense here because he is forced into a lot of def defensive here. And is basically not going to be having any offense until it's too late, hopefully. So I'm, I'm, the plan here is definitely to, to just rush him. The plan is to rush him. That was stupid. Oh, you really should not have done that, sir. He was out. He should just have ran. He should just have run. Yeah, that was a bad pick. I mean, the problem of Amazenka is not that he doesn't do damage, because he definitely do dam does damage. The problem of Amazenka is that he... Oh, fuck. He has no escape. That's his problem. But he managed to clear my wave anyway, so I didn't, I, I couldn't push him, which is, is good on his part, unlucky for me. And now I don't have speed buff because I tried to take his and it wasn't there. But... He's... The problem of Amazenka is that he doesn't have any movement speed ability, or movement abilities. And... You pick Song Kui, who doesn't have any movement abilities either. Like if you were going to pick something, I mean, I know, I, I can see the idea, but 
Sun Kui is something that wrecks a whole team. So he has high AoE, but not so much of a single target damage. His ult is designed to kill five people, not just one. And when you... I mean, it's kind of like giving me Athena. You basically don't have an ult. Ooh, hello, Bob. This is a Phoenix. This is, oh, shit. Why is, it, why is it aggroing me? Where is it? Where is he going? Pancroft. That's so stupid. Fuck you, Phoenix. That was not thought through. You should just leave me there. You can't. You can't touch me. You have nothing to do out there. You couldn't touch me. This is probably gonna be game. I don't think he can stop me. I don't think. Nope. How's game? So yeah, that pick was not thought through. I mean, you give me a high single target damage dealer and you pick an AoE mage who on top of that is a big ass target who doesn't have any mobility and is kind of slow. And I have a slow. And also, I mean, building health is kind of easy to counter when you're physical. So yeah, I don't think this was a good that was not a good pick. I was dreading something like an Osiris or a Vamana even. Something sturdy, a warrior to counter the... To counter yeah, just my damage and just be able to say, well, I'm gonna be up in your face. Instead of something that is actually... That wants to be away from the damage. Kinda. I mean, Songkui is in the middle of everything and he's quite tanky. But his power is basically fire, team fights. And yeah. Um, so I don't think the pick was sought through here. And I kind of didn't even need to counter buy. I, w I bought Chins, which I wouldn't normally. So I switched out my few people Chins eyes and then got a Titan Bane. Which is, in my opinion, better. Titan Bane is better. 1v1. Because you're you're the only one pushing the towers. I, I do like executioner, but you need. I mean, if you can if you can afford to have both executioner and titan Spain, that's optimal. But gen size, I figured that was a better pick than the executioner. And it worked out. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.